Hello and welcome back. So yesterday I was uh, uh, through the comments of opening this awesome package I got from Apache Locksport. Um, uh, we had been talking about how awesome these these uh, uh, picks are, and they are absolutely amazing. Just absolutely gorgeous. Um, nice and heavy. I mean, made of steel. The the tang goes all the way through. Hopefully, my camera will pick that up. Um, it's just, just amazing. Um, nicely finished. Uh, he just did an amazing job on these. They are beautiful. Um, uh, nice, uh, short hook, Euro hook, and a, uh, a medium size hook there. Just absolutely beautiful. I uh, said yesterday that I didn't even know if I wanted to put them in a, in a lock, but I'll tell you what, um, he commented back and told me that they're tough. Use them. I'm like, yeah. Yeah, they are, because this is, uh, I don't know what kind of steel this is, but it's definitely, it's definitely tough. Um, so, at any rate, the other thing that caught my eye was this beautiful Union. I mean, just absolutely gorgeous, he had sent. Um, it is a Union Asa Abloy, made in England. Uh, on the back, it says N-E and a big C, and I don't know what that stands for. Um, I don't know if my camera will pick that up, but it looks like there's six pins there. So, um, no key, which works out nicely, since this is a lockpicking video. Um, <laughs> but I thought I'd put it in the vise and see what we had here. And uh, see if I can get into it. And I'm going to use one of these awesome picks that he sent me. So, um, I'm going to use that medium hook. Um, let's see if I can... I thought my 50... I think my 50 will fit in that. And it does. Nice. Okay. Um, yeah, I think there's six pins in it. All right. Let's um, zoom in for you guys. Hopefully you can see any kind of movement or anything I get on this. Uh, I'm going to start in the back of the lock, kind of medium tension, and search for a binder. Okay, I got to click on three. Another click on four. Three came back down. Okay, got a little rotation on that one, and that was three, I believe. Click on two, one. We have more on two. Four. And more on four, and it's open. I think it's open. Yeah, it's open. There's no uh, spring tension on that. But got her open there. Um, that was this uh, awesome union. Oh. <laughs> it is key retaining, evidently, um, because as you can see, it does not lock back up, <laughs> which means in order to lock this back up, I'm kind of glad this happened. Um, let me show you this. Uh, in order to lock this back up, because as you can see, it will not lock back up. I have to pick this locked. <laughs> it's um, unless, let me check, find out here. Nope. Yep. I have to pick it again, shut the shackle. And then shut it, uh, and then let that let that close back. So let's see if I can do it again. <laughs> uh, let me see if I can see if I can get lightning to strike twice. Um, but yeah, anytime you have a key retaining lock like that, and you let it shut back like that, <clears throat> you have to pick it again to shut the shackle. So um, I'm not gonna bother zooming in on the second try here. Let's see if I can get this. Let's see four. Gotta click off of him. Three. Uh -huh. Two.
not so lucky the second time. I think I overset something. That was two. Oh, there was four. Now five is on the ground. Oh, there it was. Okay. Picked it out of a different order, but now, as you can see, I push the shackle in. Then I release, and it's locked. So that's what you have to do for a key retaining uh, lock with no spring in the shackle. Uh, pretty, pretty freaking awesome lock. Um, gosh, I am... You know, uh, <laughs> uh, Steel Pinnings is going to kill me on this one, or West Coast Picks is going to kill me on this one, because I say, I never keep any locks, but you know what? I have this thing for brass pad, uh, brass shackle padlocks. Absolutely love it. I think this one has found its new home. Um, I share 98% of all the locks I get, I send back out, but I keep one or, you know, I'll keep one every once in a while. I believe this one is this one has found its way, uh, found its new home. So I'm gonna put it right along the other side of all the other brass pad, brass shackle padlocks that I've slowly been collecting. I I have a sergeant that's absolutely beautiful, has a uh, brass shackle on it, has a key. Um, this is the one that Jeff Moss sent me. Absolutely amazing. Um, and I've got the James Court that my uh, buddy uh, Hard Harv gave me um without a key absolutely chock full of spools key retaining on this one as well as you can tell it's, it's still picked and, and it's open but this one doesn't have a spring-loaded uh core so it doesn't doesn't shut back um and you know I, i've got that uh, uh master number four i believe no you know what <laughs> i do really send everything back out because i do have this brass master number four um, but the one with the brass shackle, I sent it out to somebody. So, yeah, I don't have it anymore. Um, I gave up one of my brass shackles. <laughs> so, yeah, slowly been collecting them. But at any rate, I've waffled on long enough, and these are amazing picks. Thank you so much for the uh, for these awesome picks uh, and this amazing Union Apache uh, Locksport. Just absolutely love it. Um, as I said before, it's found its new home. So, um, thank you very much, uh, for the opportunity to pick this awesome lock. Um, so thank you guys for watching and don't break the law.